simple interest and present value. So in one of the other videos, I have done the formula for future value and how to come up with it. And we have shown that, well, future value is just your principal plus the interest that is accumulated. And we came up with this formula. So we have the future value, or sometimes it's the summation value, summation between your principal and your interest. So we have, and it doesn't matter which one you use, and we said that this is 1 plus RT, and R again is the rate, which is on an annual basis, and T, which is the time in years, and then we have times our principal here. Now, what if instead, okay, so we had the problem, and we were trying to find the problem where we were now going from the future back into the present. So, for instance, an example can be asked where you're saying that, well, you know, in 20 years, I would like to have half a million dollars. And that would be sometimes in the future. So this is actually your summation or your future value. And let's say that it was, you know, $500,000 that we wanted to have in the future. And then you can ask yourself, well, under simple interest, how much money would I actually need to have presently? So at present, and that's why this is called present value, in order okay, to be able to have the 500,000 in the future. So we're actually reversing the problem. We want to be able to know what we would want to have, let's say right now or in the present value. So let's say this is, let's say this is now or at some point here. And what we want to do is, okay, we want to be able to bring this money back into now. So we're bringing it back into okay, what we call a present value. Now, in order to do that, you can still use this formula as long as you know your um, future value. So in this case, your future value would be this. You would need to know what the interest is. And I mean, I mentioned this is 20 years, but the time is irrelevant. It could have been two months or five months or a few quarters or something like that. Now, we do want to be able to have kind of a standard formula instead of just plugging in and, and solving. And in order to do that is if you take this formula of the future value, S is equal to 1 plus R T times P. So your present value, which is this right here, if you wanted to solve for this and get a formula out of this, you have to use a little bit of algebra. And that algebra means I do not want to have this 1 plus RT on this side. So I'm going to divide both sides. So this thing will cancel here. But of course, we have to do that on the opposite side as well. So this will be 1 plus RT. And that is actually your present value formula. So notice what happens is you have your present value is equal to your future value divided by 1 plus RT. And this is your present value formula that you can use if you ever wanted to bring money from the future back into the present to find the present or maybe the principle that you wanted to start and invest in. And now we don't typically write it in this order. We write it in reverse, meaning present value is equal to the future value divided by 1 plus RT. So typically you'll see it that way. Okay, now I won't pr uh, provide an example here because I do provide several examples on future value, present value, equivalent values, and various calculations. So you can find that in the playlist okay, and watch them there. All right, thank you for watching. Okay, this is the present value formula.